Deborah Myberg, and I'm with Italo Sobrino and Giovanna Rizzolio of Cascina della Rosa. And this is a winery that's in Bavaresca, yes, in yes, Piemonte region in northern Italy. So there's always a lot of discussion, Bavaresca versus Barolo. What do you see as the difference between these two wines? Okay, normally we think uh, uh, Barolo is the king and Barbaresco is the queen. This is the difference. Uh, this is the, the wine in Barolo, they are more structured, more uh, big, and in Barbaresco they are really more fine and elegant. So this is the this more female wine. So why does Barbaresco, they're both the same grape variety, Nebbiolo, yes. so why does Barbaresco produce a wine that's more feminina? Yeah? Uh, because of the soil, with more, uh, there's more calca, calcareous, and uh, a lot of uh, blue marne also comes up until the, the, the up on the soil. And this makes the, the, the wine more fine, the tannins more fine, and more soft, more uh, uh, velvet. Ah. And you have a lot of fog, a lot of fog. No, no normally Nebbia. it's uh, down in the valley. Down in the valley, yeah. so it yes. doesn't yeah. affect yes. your vines. It's very nice to see the, the, the fog down like, uh, like a sea, mm -hmm. and the top of the hill will come up like a highland, very nice. And the other thing on the top of all those islands are beautiful towers. Yes, yes. normally yes. Tower on castle. You know this. <laughs> you know very well the region. So, Babaresco, yeah. what is your favorite food and wine match for Babaresco? Uh, it can be like a pasta with the truffles, mm. it's not bad. And a good fonduta with the truffle also. Uh, then can be also the, uh, the wild, wild. Uh -huh. uh, like a pheasant or something like this, so it can uh -huh. be a very good connection with the, uh, and then sure, also the brasato, mm -hmm. brasato Braza with the barbaresco wine. Oh, we better Maybe stop. Okay, I'm hungry. <laughs> we'll change the subject. Uh, how about in the winter? What's it like to have a vineyard in Barbaresco? What are the winters like for you? Uh, the winter is okay. We like to have the snow in winter because this is the best cover for uh, for the season for uh, for to uh, stop uh, a moment. Uh, the cycle of the so it gives the vine a, a little nap. It gives yes. them a chance yes. to rest. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And how about in the winery? What's happening in the winery? January, February, March. <laughs> we move the wine. We clean the wine, and then also there's uh, the the uh, tartaric st stabilization. Uh, also because we are not making any filtration and then uh, it's, uh, it's very good to, to have a, a very cold time for to make the stabi natural stabilization and then without the filter we can put the wine in the barrels for to age. And some of your favorite vintages, recent favorite vintages? 2001, mm -hmm. 2005, I love it. Uh -huh. And then uh, six, seven, and then we would see also the eight. And the, but oh, so we have one every year. Uh, <laughs> we had two very difficult years. It was uh -huh. 2002 and 2003. Uh -huh. One was uh, very, very rainy, uh -huh. and the other was very hot. But uh, this was a very nice moment for us for to uh, the monster to yourself to be able to make a wine. Uh -huh. Well, good. I look forward to trying all the vintages. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>